The Hawkware Auto Document Numbering tool allows you to greatly enhance the numbering capability that already exists inside Enterprise PDM. If you have an intelligent numbering convention that requires multiple prefixes and suffixes, this will provide you a very clean user interface with which to accomplish that. You'll notice that on the data card for the file in question, I have a button to access the auto document numbering tool. And if I click that, the form will come up that I as a user need to fill out to choose my serial number. On this form, you can see right now that I have two categories, product line and product type. However, the tool will allow you to use up to four categories. These categories can also be dependent on each other. You'll notice that for Chevrolet, I have the option of mechanical, electrical, and bodywork for my product type, whereas if I choose Buick, I only have the options of mechanical and electrical for my product type. So you can get very deep and very descriptive on how you want these serial numbers to work. In the upper right hand corner you'll notice my serial number convention is laid out for me. And what you can see here is that Buick Mechanical translates into BCK-ME. So one of the great parts about this tool is that you can provide very clear descriptions in your categories and then you can translate those into aliases for the actual serial number. Once you have your categories chosen, you go down to the bottom left hand corner and generate a number. You'll notice that for Buick Mechanical, the number it wants to generate for me is 0001. This is the first time I've ever created a Buick Mechanical serial number. On the flip side, if I pick Chevrolet Mechanical and generate the number, you will see that it gives me 0006. This is the sixth Chevrolet mechanical serial number that I've generated. And the best part here is that these serial numbers are maintained independently. So even if you have the same actual number, you're still getting different discrete serial numbers at the end of the day, which is fantastic. Once you've got the serial number that you want to use selected, you can go ahead and hit the OK button. However, there is one more option, which is to check in and rename the file. If you do not check in and rename the file, what this tool is going to do in my case is it's going to take the serial number and it's going to fill it into the part number field. Then it's going to take the product line, Chevrolet, and it's going to fill it into the project name field. You can take any one of these categories and discreetly map them to a value on your data card. If you check in and rename the file as well, which is what I'm going to do, it will also rename the file with this serial number you've chosen. We'll hit OK there, and I'll go ahead and refresh Windows Explorer. You can see that the file is now chv-me-006, and if you look at the data card, the part number field is filled in, and the project name field is filled in with the full text, which is Chevrolet. In the back side of this, the admin interface is also very easy to use. And if you have any questions about this tools or its capabilities, please feel free to contact us at Hawkridge Systems at any time.